Hello welcome to our channel in this video we understand how to connect MSSQL database table to read, write and update tag value. Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio is an integrated environment for managing, configuring and interacting with SQL Server instances. It is free and can be downloaded from the official Microsoft website. First open Open SQL Server Management Studio, SSMS, and connect to your SQL Server instance. Second use your credentials to log in either Windows Authentication or SQL Server Authentication. Next step to create tag database to store tag value. Next step to create tag table in MSSQL here I am using SQL Query. After creating database and table next step to configure DSN in ODBC to connect SQL Server database to VB script. Open Control Panel and then open Windows Tools. Select ODBC32 and open as administrator. Go to the System DSN or User DSN tab. Click the Add button. Select SQL Server and click Finish. Now enter a name for the DSN. Provide an optional description. Select the SQL Server instance to connect. Use same SQL Server. Press Next. Choose the authentication method and click to Next. Select the default database for the DSN from the drop-down menu. Click Next. Click the Test Data Source button to ensure the DSN is working correctly. If the test is successful, click Finish. Now open TIA portal and create a project add some component. In this video have two VB script function first write and update value in database C and script to read value from database. The VB script function performs database operations insert or update based on the existence of a record in a SQL database table. It is designed to work within an HMI environment, interacting with a database via ODBC. In a screen 1 add a input output field, 2 button and a text field. First button insert or update value and second button used for read tag value from table. Input output field are attached with a tag. This tag value is stored in database table. And text field shows status of VB script. Also add input one tag to a tag table and attach same tag into input output field. Now open script and then add a new script rename this script to write underscore value. Declares variables for database connections, SQL queries, HMI fields, and RS is record set handling. References the text field text field underscore 1 on screen underscore 2 in the HMI runtime for status messages. Select same name copy screen name and item name and paste in VB script it is very important to set referencer properly. Next defines the ODBC DSN name and builds the connection string for Windows authentication. Replace with your ODBC DSN name. Connection string using DSN and Windows authentication. Defines the value to be inserted or updated in the database. Replace smart tags, input 1, with the actual value source. This line defines the SQL query to check if a record with tag name equals temperature 1 exists in the tag table. Creates an ADO connection object and attempts to open the database connection. ADO is ActiveX Data Objects is a programming interface provided by Microsoft for accessing and manipulating data in databases. It is part of the Universal Data Access, UDA, framework and is commonly used in VB script, Visual Basic, and similar environments to interact with data sources like Microsoft SQL Server, Microsoft Access, or any OLEDB supported database. After creating VB script check error of VB script and remove any error if your VB script have an error. If don't have any error so add VB script to button press event property. After adding script to button start simulation to test VB script subroutine function. The script checks if a specific record exists in the database. If it exists, the script updates the record. Otherwise, it inserts a new record. The HMI's text field displays success or error messages during execution. 
In this VB script we use a insert, update and count query. Insert query insert value in database. Update query update tag value if it is already exist. Count query count value if exist. Remember important point for proper operation. First ensure the ODBC DSN is properly configured on the system. Second select actual database, table and column to access data from database. Now next script to read value from database. In this video we use same DSN, same screen, same screen items and same database and table. According to your use you can configure. For more information visit out website or social blog if you have any problem in your VB script. Link is below. To read values from an MSSQL table using VB script, you can use ActiveX data objects. In this article have simple VB script help you connect to an MSSQL database, execute a query, and read table values. To connect MSSQL database first connect database then read value of table. To do this first create a database in same database create a table. Second create a DSN to connect MSSQL database to WebScript. A select SQL query is used to retrieve data from one or more tables in a database. It is the most commonly used SQL statement and is highly versatile, allowing for filtering, sorting, grouping, and joining data. Always specify the columns explicitly unless you need all columns. Use the WHERE clause to filter rows and reduce unnecessary data retrieval. After creating VB script check error by compile error. If no error then add this script to read button. Otherwise remove error in your VB script and again check until no error comes. Open screen and select read button open property of button and select press event add read underscore value from drop down. Now start simulation to test a program simulation is virtual controller here you can see how your program works. When button is pressed value of selected table column show in text field. If any error comes during connection of read value it shows on text field. You can check both button. Thank you for watching this video.